Hi, welcome to Travel with Austin. I'm Austin, and today I am here in Dresden, Ohio, and we're going to be taking a look at the Triple Lock Sidecut Canal. Now, there is not a historical plaque here, or really any sort of plaque, um, to commemorate this. So, I apologize if some of the history is a little off, but what, from what I understand, this is a side cut canal, and basically, as you will see, it flows into the Muskingum River, and this was basically a way to get, can, to get goods into the canal, or, sorry, to get goods into the river or out of the river faster via this little canal. So here we are at the top lock. As you can see, it is filled with weeds and stuff, and all of these are, so we're not going to walk down in them but we're gonna go ahead and walk by them. Now, like I said, there are literally no signs here at all. The only sign here is about this. Um, and that's from so long ago that it's when Trump was still president. So, at least three years old, probably longer. Now, as you can see with each canal, we get lower as we get towards the river. So, as we walk up here, there is actually a little mowed path here that is kind of nice. So, we'll go ahead and take a look at that. So, you can see that leaving the canals like this was obviously a choice that they made. You can look down here. You can already see, you know, we're obviously much lower than we were before. Because, of course, as we get near the Muskingum River, we're getting closer to water level. Now, from what I read, this was originally part of a canal system that ran from Cleveland, Ohio to Portsmouth, Ohio. And basically, this is just considered a side cut and wouldn't have been part of the main thing. And mainly just would have been used for making sure that things could get in and out of the town easier without everyone having to come to the river, basically. So that is the second one here. And we're getting even lower. And... Again, I just want to reiterate, there really should be some sort of historical signage here. Um, or even really a parking lot or something, because this is, this is the wastewater facility here for Dresden. And there's actually a gate that is currently wide open, but you're not allowed to drive past it, technically speaking. Although, I feel like they could maybe move that gate up a bit, turn that area into a parking lot, add a historical plaque. I don't know. These are just my dreams. Now, luckily, it is not a far walk from the nearby park in that direction, which does have the Dresden Suspension Bridge and then the quote-unquote Fort Dresden. But now we are finally here at the last lock. And again, it is overgrown. Of course, this seems to be an intentional choice. If you look off into the distance, you can see how we've come down as we've gone through the triple locks. Now, it also kind of sucks because this one is covered in grass shavings, so you really can't see the rock unless you look over on that side. And as we get down here, We are, of course, going to go down a bit more. And then we are practically to the river. So I might as well take you guys straight to the river and show you where these boats would have came in and out of. Now, my only question is, and again, this, you know, things could have changed with the water level over the last... 100, 150 years, but I feel like another canal still would have been needed. 
but basically right here here is the Muskingum River and you know what there's actually some concrete there so maybe there was more to this that does look a bit too new to be part of those canals but I mean it does line up pretty well so anyway this is the Dresden triple locks if you want to come and see this my best recommendation is go to the riverfront park here in Dresden take in the historic Dresden suspension bridge which I have also done a video about and then take the short walk to come and see the locks sadly I don't think we're going to get any parking lot or historical placard anytime soon but that is all I have for you guys today I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you enjoyed these historic locks and if you did hey please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe it really helps me out a lot and I'll see you guys next time with a brand new video